Here is a series circuit, which I solved earlier. But what exactly happens in a series circuit? I have a comment written here. It says two or more electric circuits are considered to be in series if the same common current flows through all of the components. In a series circuit, the sum of all the voltage drops across the individual resistances must be equal to the applied EMF. Well, what does all of this really mean? In a prior video, as I said, I have solved this one. So let's draw this diagram right here. We have a voltage, voltage source. And that's positive, and here's the negative terminal. And we have three resistances in series with each other. Here, I'll draw them like this. And in order for electric current to flow, it, it needs to be a closed circuit. So it has to be everything, it needs to be connected right back up. And the total current I solved in a previous video, current, current leaving the power source, using convention, travels this way. Current total was solved to be 0.116 amps. And it says here, two or more electric circuits are considered to be in series if the same current flows through all the components. So in a series circuit, this current flows through this resistance, and this one, and this one. And let's give these some values. Resistance of this one here, we'll call that R1 is equal to 15 ohms. And R2, we'll make this one 25 ohms. And R3... We'll make this one 35 ohms. You can consider consider these to be three light bulbs, three different light bulbs. It's a better way to think of, about this, three different light bulbs. And the current is the same throughout. So the current going across this light bulb is also 0.16 amps. And the current going through this light bulb is also 0.16 amps. And going through this light bulb is also 0.16 amps. In a series circuit, the current is common. And the current leaving the battery is 0.16 amps. And it travels through, out, and back into the battery. So this is the definition of a series circuit. And it also says here, in a series circuit, the sum of all the voltage drops. And the voltage drops is the amount of voltage is being used by this supposed light bulb and the amount of voltage being used by this light bulb and the amount of voltage being used by this light bulb. So we can separate these into three separate little problems using Ohm's law. So separating this one. And using Ohm's law, we can calculate what the voltage drop is here. We know the current. 0.16 amps, we know the resistance, and we just simply can calculate the voltage drop for this little section here for this light bulb. And the voltage drop, we will call this V1, is equal to the current. Current is 0.16 amps, because in the series circuit, the current is the same throughout. Multiply that resistance, 15 ohms, and that is equal to 2.4 volts. And we can do the same thing here. Consider this one here. So we'll write down here voltage equals 2.4 volts. Do the same thing here. V equals IR. This is Ohm's law. We'll call this one V2. V2 is equal to the same current, 0.16 amps, times the resistance of 25. And that is equal to 4 volts. So the voltage drop, voltage drop, we can call this drop, or the voltage being used here is 4 volts. And similarly for this last one, we're going to find the voltage drop. Again, using Ohm's law, V3 is equal to IR, same current throughout, and the resistance is 35. is equal to 5.6 volts. Voltage drop here is 
5.6 volts. So each one of these light bulbs uses a different amount of voltage. However, it also says here that it must equal the applied EMF. The summation of all of these voltage drops must equal what was uh, the original supplied voltage, and this was 12 volts. So the battery is 12 volts, and all of these voltage drops, which we calculated separately, must equal the, the, the applied voltage, the applied EMF. So adding all of these up, voltage total through all these voltage drops is equal to 2.4 plus 4 plus 5.6. Adding this up, 2.4, 4.0, 5.6. Ten carry one, six, ten, twelve. There we go, twelve volts. And this is the definition of a series circuit.